So the first studies were on nusinersen, and this is the Indir study, which was a first and only placebo control study in type 1 patients. And this is a waterfall, and it's a motor milestone scale. And as you can see in the blue, those are all the patients responding to nusinersen, and in the orange are the ones who either stayed the same or declined. And an important improvement with 51% improving in the nusinersen treated group and none in the sham control. But these children were symptomatic and did not recover completely. They improved, and many of them with time were able to sit, but were left with deficits. However, if you treat early, and that's the nurture study, if you treat pre-symptomatically, and this study was under six weeks of age, they had to have electrophysiology that they didn't have nerve compromise, and when you treat them that early, all of them were sitters, making a type one into a type two, and 92 were walking even with support, and 88 were walking independently, which is having relatively normal development. On the slide, on the graph on your right, you'll see that's the motor milestone graph, with 26 being the maximum, which includes walking. And as you can see, there's a difference between two SMN2 copy numbers, which is in the blue, which doesn't quite reach that ceiling, and three SMN2 copy numbers that do reach the ability to walk uh, and ceiling out of the motor milestone scale that's being used. So what about the later onset SMA? And this is the CHERISH study, which were children over age two, and they were up to nine years of age. And they were relatively healthy. They didn't have scoliosis. And they showed a nice improvement on the Hammersmith, which is a gross motor function scale, which is crawling and rolling over and stepping and walking. And the green graph on the top shows that when the cherished finished, when that blue line ends, they continued treatment in the SHINE study. And you can see that there's maintenance of response and actually an increase uh, up to 4.6. What does that mean? Three points is thought to be clinically meaningful. So that is a good response that is maintained. On the bottom slide is movement in the arms and quantified strength and carrying things. And that improved and continued to improve over time, which tells you about the durability of the response to nusinersen. What do babies with later onset SMA look like? This is a patient of mine who lost the ability to crawl at 20 months of age. She was treated at age two, which is early in this study, the earliest you could be. Two months after starting doses, still no response, but by three months, she's crawling on all fours, and by four months, she's walking with the assistance of a walker. Fortunately, now she's 10 years of age, and is still walking with support and has suffered some musculoskeletal issues. So it hasn't been as perfect as one would have hoped. My hope is that there's a new study devote with higher doses that hopefully will provide a better response over time since the doses are higher. Nusinersen was not studied in adults, and this slide is just to show that even in adults, there is a nice response and this is a nice German study with a very large multi-site observational study. Over 14 months, you can see that 40% of them had three points on the Hammersmith. That's clinically meaningful. And that there was also improvement over the course on the six-minute walk test up to 46 meters at the 14-month, all in the significant area. So no matter the age, there still is a response.